All right, here we go. Here's the outlet. Um, these, this isn't hooked up to the breaker at all. Um, and then the outlet in my son's room is was piggybacked off of uh, this outlet right here. Um, what I did, I already passed one hole in his room, and so I'm already uh, messing around with drywall. So I figured I'd come in here and uh, do what I got to do to get this box out. Uh, this box, I'm just going to go ahead and com take completely out, um, move it, uh, well not move it, but take it completely out, and then eventually I'll put one down this way somewhere, um, not right now, right now I'm just going to try to get this out, patch it up, uh, clean up some of this drywall, um, re try to texture it, you know, to, to match this that's already on here, um, and so that way I could go ahead and paint this room, um, but yeah, there's there's that. And then I already did one patch, like I said, in here, in the kiddos' room. This right here, it it had you know a hole about this big. But what I like to do is cut out you know a good square, um, put some backing in there with some screws, and then put a new piece in. It just makes it easier to mud that way instead of trying to uh, patch up one little hole with a bunch of tape and stuff. Um, so there's that, and this gouge right here. So when that dries, I'll sand it down a little bit, get another uh, thing of mud on there, and then this should, uh, and then probably throw some some caulking in there or whatever. That's real thin, the paint will probably fill that up, but um, there's that. Uh, then his closet could get cleaned up. But that's what I got going on right now. This is the outlet that it's piggyback to. Um, I'm not going to mess with this right now. This is just going to get uh, um, left for right now. It's not hooked up, so I'm not concerned. It's not going to hurt the kid or nothing if he messes with it. Um, he doesn't He doesn't mess with outlets anyways. <clears throat> but there's that. That's what I got going on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, patch her up, and then uh, do some drywall. be easier with two hands but as you can see that's what I'm doing to get it out I gotta pry it out so give me a second all right I got the box out so what I'm doing right now I gotta cut this back over this way I got this bracket in the way that the box was connected to is an older style uh, metal box um, I like to use the uh, twist tab plastic ones or the PVC ones whatever they're made of well it's plastic but I like using those um, so now I gotta uh, kind of square this up, get that cut out, and patch it up. What I'm gonna do is uh, this could get left in there. Like I said, that one's just piggybacked off. It's not hooked up to nothing. Uh, this one in here, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put some uh, caps on here. It's getting ran up into the attic, which is probably just cut off somewhere up there. But I'm gonna put some caps on there just to be safe until I'm able to uh, get up there and pull it out. And they used the all purpose on here and caked it up quite a bit. The uh when it's just drywall it's not that hard to uh get my knife started. Um this uh all purpose drywall mud is really really tough. It dries a lot harder. So what I'm doing is just using my screwdriver to get a hole started. If I were to try to bend these tabs and like put the drywall over there, it'd be sticking out and it just wouldn't look good at all. So we're going to get this pulled. Got to get that screw out of here. A 
which I could reuse up here because this is loose. We're gonna go ahead. Put that up in there. And need to get a couple more screws. Go ahead and put one up here. And this never got taped the right way. See, this is what happens when drywall gets done wrong. They put the tape on the other side of the seam for some reason. But we're going to cut this off up here. And we'll get that fixed. Yeah, that's awful. That is awful. They barely, they just went up to the side of the seam. That's why it's all cracked right here. That's what happens when you don't actually tape the, they put the tape on this side. This is the patched in piece. They're supposed to put the tape, you know, right over it. But that's just idiots at work right there. So let's go ahead and finish getting, getting this out. Probably another 16 penny nail under there. Move that. Now I gotta find some caps to cap this off. This, I'll probably go on the other side and go ahead and pull that, uh, I'll probably pull that outlet out on the other side and just put a cover over the, um, over the, uh, box that's on that side. Just so, you know, it doesn't look like crap. Okay, found another one. So there's that. That's going to get pulled out from the other side, so we can tuck that back in there. Mm -hmm. Let me put another screw in here. this might as well go ahead and cut down just a little lower get that nice and cleaned up
Yeah, it's gonna work out better. Yeah, it'll work out better. Where is my tape measure? Okay, so we got six and a half. Six and a half by seven ish. We'll cut that shy of seven. Go ahead and cut that off. Clean that up because I don't have a rasp. That will go six and a half. Six and a half by seven. Okay, we're gonna go a little short on this on the seven mark. Found a piece of wood to scab in back here. I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit so I can fit it in there, and uh, we're gonna uh, screw our board to that. said before this wire is just piggyback was piggyback so this is no worries right here and this will eventually get changed out so I ain't gonna worry about it get our piece in here I'm gonna screw this side first That. And when we go to do this one, we're going to try to keep it towards the edge of it on this side so it doesn't pull it in too much. That should be good. We'll throw one more in there. Or maybe not. So that's pulling that in quite a bit. We're going to leave that one alone. i got to sand this all down before I tape it. And let it. Get these edges off here. ahead sand the rest of this down and uh, try to texture it and stuff like that so try to get it somewhat to match I'll probably use a, a roller and uh, put a little bit of mud on there to uh, texture it but that's where I'm at and uh, I will uh, have a video up of what it looks like afterwards there's plenty of drywall videos out there this is just me doing a little repair at my house um, if you're wanting an instructional video I'd suggest going to uh, some other channels out there because there's plenty of uh, really good drywallers that uh, put their stuff up on YouTube. Um, this is just a simple patch. Uh, 
I'm, I'm no pro at drywall, but drywall is not that hard to do. Um, so, yeah, so that's where we're going with that. I got one patch done, second patch done. Now I just need to sand the rest of this and get it textured so that way I can paint. Talk to you guys later.